52nd annual commencement at the Fred J. Brown Athletic Complex at Defiance High School. Today we are honored to recognize 180 seniors that will be receiving their high school diploma. At this time, please welcome this afternoon's platform guests. Mr. Sam Manns, junior and sophomore counselor. Mrs. Ashley Peters, sophomore and freshman counselor. Mr. Brandon Fisher, assistant principal. Mr. Jay Jerger, principal. Mr. Thomas Singer, senior counselor. Reverend David Brobston, guest presenter. Mr. Robert Morton, superintendent. Mrs. Christine Oberlin, Board of Education President. Mr. Wesley Motes, Board of Education. Mr. Gary Rodenberger, Board of Education. Mr. Michael Wall, Board of Education. Mrs. Kathy Davis, Board of Education. Mrs. Cheryl Swisher, Treasurer. Mrs. Tammy Bevins, Fort County Career Center Representative. Mrs. Jody Donsbach, Vocal Choir, Choir Director. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask you please stand as we welcome the class of 2023.
At this time, we ask that you please stand for the presentation of colors by the Defiance VFW Post 3360. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly and the rockets red the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave the land of the free and the home of the brave. what any red-blooded American would do, and I went to AI, and I said, give me something cool to capture everyone's attention. There were words like yeet and cat, and a bunch of other things I could not interpret or understand. So I called my daughter, and I said, this is what I'm going to do, and she said, Dad, you're a big enough embarrassment, don't do that. Class of 2023, this is the third time in my history in Defiance that I have been here. But I haven't been here yet. The first time we were inside, and the second time folks were driving through the parking lot. You all have done it. You learned how to navigate online learning. You learned how to navigate coming back. And here you are. It's a good day. It's a time to celebrate. It's a time to be proud. A few years ago, before the Super Bowl, they would do all of the interviews of the athletes. And they were talking to a young man and said, reflect on your season. You had an incredible year. You made it all the way to the Super Bowl looked out at the reporters gathered and he said we ain't done yet so that's what I want to tell you today it is a closing of a chapter it's an incredible accomplishment but you're not done yet you have a bunch of light left in front of you 
Over the years, I have been to three graduations of my own. I went to my wife's graduation from college, both of my kids' high school's graduation and college graduations. And every one of them, someone set up and said, you are going to change the world. We've probably all heard that at a graduation or two. I've got bad news. You're not. Just like your parents didn't and your grandparents didn't, we haven't changed the world. But there's an old story of a little girl walking along the beach one morning, picking up starfish that had washed up and taking them and throwing them as far as she could back out into the ocean. And then a grumpy old man, probably my age, walked up and said, what are you doing? You're wasting your time. Look at the thousands of starfish. You're not going to save them all. She picked one up, threw it in the ocean, and looked at him and said, but I saved that one. It's not about the world. It's about changing people's worlds. It's about loving those that you are around. It's about being present with those in your orbit and making a difference in their lives. That's how we change the world, y'all. One at a time, simple acts of love. So three things, the three C's. Be courageous. You've already had to learn that. Being taken from in school to out of school online to back in school, navigating a pandemic, you've already shown your courage. Be curious. Follow your dreams. Those things out there in the life that make your brain perk up and your heart beat have a hold of those. Those are the things that make a difference. And finally, be compassionate. Love those around you. Even if they're not like you, even if their brokenness is different than your brokenness, <coughs> be compassionate because that's how we are remembered. The truth is, is that most of us go through this life leaving a ripple behind us, like a boat on the water. And there's two types of wakes that we can leave. One is destructive. It tears up shoreline and doesn't care about anything around it or anyone else on the water with it. Then there's those wakes that are just nice, gentle ripples that take care of the skiers, the kayakers, and the canoes. May the wake you leave be life-giving to you and to those around you. As you close this chapter, be proud. You've accomplished a lot. But as you open the next chapter, whatever that is for you, do it with compassion, with curiosity, and with courage. Because class of 2023, you ain't done yet.
First, I'd like to congratulate you, the graduating class of 2023, along with your families and friends that have helped you along the way. It is now my pleasure to recognize the distinguished members of your class who will be serving in the United States military after graduation. These brave young graduates have chosen to defend our country and keep us all safe while protecting the freedoms we enjoy every day. You are a credit to our school, community, and our country, and all of us here, along with those around the nation, thank you for your future service and owe you a debt of gratitude. Please rise as I read your name and be recognized. Evan Detray, United States Marine Corps. Blaze Fitch, United States Marine Corps. Isaiah Gerhardt, United States Army. Carson Hoffman, United States Air National Guard. Victor Jersevich, United States Marine Corps. Regan Rigg, United States Marine Corps. Kerrig Skyver, United States Air National Guard. And Daniel Wheeler, United States Army. Thanks to all of you for your courage and sacrifice to help us all. Please give them another round of applause and thank them for their future service. At this time, we would like to recognize our graduates for various achievements and scholarships they have received this year. Graduates, when I call your name, please stand up, face the crowd, and remain standing. Audience, please hold your applause until the end. Joshua Bowman, Honor Diploma, Honor Graduate, National Honor Society, and the Presidential Scholarship. Lucian Breck, Honor Graduate, the Laura Punches Scholarship. Aiden Brenner, top 5% of his class, Honors Diploma, Honor Graduate, the Laura Punches Scholarship. Piper Burnett, Honor Diploma, Honor Graduate. Carter Campbell, Honor Graduate, Jordan C. Shirey Soccer Scholarship, and the Laura Punches Scholarship. Tony Chen, graduated in the top 5%, earned an Honors Diploma, is an Honor Graduate, and earned career All A's. Christian Camaso is an Honor Graduate. Peyton Kressel, earned an Honor Diploma, is an Honor Graduate, and earned the rank of Eagle Scout. Evan Dutre, Honor Diploma and an Honor Graduate. Cody Fairchild earned the Shining Star Award. Lydia Fernandez earned an Honor Diploma, is an Honor Graduate, earned the Pilgrim Scholarship and the Choose Ohio First Scholarship. Ellie Fleshman earned an Honors Diploma, is an Honor Graduate, and received the Presidential Scholarship. Tyler Frederick, Earned an honors diploma, is an honor graduate, earned the Eagles Exit Award, and the Voice of Democracy Scholarship. Yuli Gallegos is an honor graduate. Maya Garcia, an honors diploma, and an honor graduate. Brandon Gamutsa is an honor graduate and earned an honors diploma. Gavino Gomez is an honor graduate and earned an Adrian College Academic Scholarship. Santonio Gonzalez earned an honors diploma, is an honor graduate, and earned the Live Moss Scholarship. Zach Hansen graduated in the top 5% of his class, earned an honors diploma, is an honor graduate, a member of National Honor Society, and a recipient of the Laura Punches Scholarship. Caden Hazelton earned an honors diploma, 
is an honor graduate, a member of National Art Society. He won the Citizenship Award, the Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizen Award, the Jordan C. Shirey DECA Scholarship, a Denison Academic Scholarship. Amelia Hernandez earned an honors diploma and is an honor graduate. Bo Hesselswart earned the Michael Strubel Bulldog Spirit Award. Paige Hill earned an honors diploma is an honor graduate. Brady Heffel earned the Deborah S. Maxey Memorial Scholarship, an Ohio War Orphan Scholarship, and the War Veterans Scholarship. Elizabeth Hoffman graduated in the top 5% of her class, earned an honors diploma, is an honor graduate, a member of National Honor Society, and earned the Athletic Booster Scholarship. Sydney Holmes is an honor graduate, a member of National Honor Society, earned the Laura Punches Scholarship and the Vince Polsey Scholarship. Mira Horvath earned an honors diploma, is an honor graduate, and a member of the National Honor Society. Ethan Engel is an honor graduate, a member of National Honor Society, and earned the rank of Eagle Scout. Xavier Irvin earned an honors diploma, and it is an honor graduate. David Jimenez earned an honors diploma and is an honor graduate. Elizabeth Johnston graduated in the top 5% of her class, earned an honors diploma, is an honor graduate, earned career all A's, and is a member of the National Honor Society. Kirsten Johnston is in the top 5% of her class, earned an honors diploma, an honor graduate, the Laura Punches Scholarship, and the Presidential Scholarship. Victor Jurcevich earned an honors diploma and is an honor graduate. Aiden Kiesling earned an honors diploma and is an honor graduate. Ella Kistner earned an honors diploma, is an honor graduate, and a member of the National Honor Society. Ramon Kowicki earned the John Philip Sousa Award. Lily Lacey earned an honors diploma, is an honor graduate, a member of the National Honor Society, the recipient of the F.B. Walters Scholarship, and an athletic and athletic academic scholarship at BGSU. Aleda Levine is an honor graduate. Jacob Lips is an honor, an honor graduate and earned an honors diploma. Sonny Lloyd is this year's valedictorian, graduated in the top 5% of her class, earned an honors diploma, is an honor graduate, earned career all A's. She won the Citizenship Award, the Eagles Excellent Award, was a member of the National Honor Society. She earned the Marines Distinguished Athlete Award, the Laura Punches Scholarship, the ONU Presidential Scholarship, the United Way Scholarship, the Citizens in Action Scholarship, the Sons of American Revolution Scholarship, the Board of Elections Student Ambassador Scholarship, the Vince Posey Scholarship, and the Defiance Rotary Scholarship. <laughs> Kimmy Maynard earned an honors diploma, is an honor graduate, and a member of National Honor Society. Gavin Miller was a member of National Honor Society, earned the Marines Distinguished Athlete Award and the Garrett Nixon Scholarship. Madeline Morton earned an honors diploma, is an honor graduate, a member of the National Honor Society, the recipient of the M. Struble Bulldog Spirit Award, the Defiance Rotary Scholarship, and the St. Paul's United Methodist Church Scholarship. Rayleigh Muncy, is an honor graduate. Tamari Neely earned the Barnes and Noble Scholarship. Emma Pry is an honor graduate and a recipient of the Laura Puncher Scholarship. Reagan Rigg earned the Jim Thomas Memorial Scholarship. Olivia Rittenhouse is an honor graduate and a member of the National Honor Society and a recipient of the Hicksville Eagle Scholarship and the Kenny Hench Scholarship. Ella Rohde graduated in the top 5% of her class, earned an honors diploma, is an honor graduate, 
earn career all A's, is a, national, or a member of the National Honor Society, earned the Marine Scholastic Excellent Award, the Laura Puncher Scholarship, and the Wings of Eagles Scholarship. Lindsey Roth earned an honors diploma, is an honor graduate, member of National Honor Society. She earned the Good Manners Award, the Defiance Athletic Booster Scholarship, the Archie Griffin Sportsmanship Award, and the St. Paul United Methodist Scholarship. Jordan Samples is an honor graduate. Cambriana Shepard earned an honors diploma and is an honor graduate. Isaac Schlatter graduated in the top 5% of his class, earned an honors diploma, is an honor graduate, and earned the Archie Griffith Sportsmanship Award. Leah Scott earned the Shining Star Award. Jayla Cepeda is an honor graduate, earned an honors diploma, and a member of National Honor Society. Braden Shaw earned an honors diploma, is an honor graduate, received the Defiance Athletic Booster Scholarship, a baseball scholarship at the University of Akron, and the Chamber of Commerce Scholarship. Ava Schock is an honor diploma, an honor graduate, and a member of National Honor Society. McKaylin Schock earned an honors diploma, is an honor graduate. McKenna Schock earned an honors diploma, is an honor graduate, the Changing Lives Scholarship, and the St. Paul United Methodist Scholarship. Kaylin Sisko earned a Presidential Scholarship. Amos Smith is an honor graduate. Kylie Schneider earned an honors diploma, is an honor graduate, a member of National Honor Society, and a recipient of the Presidential Scholarship. Evan Steese earned an honors diploma, is an honor graduate, and a recipient of the Presidential Scholarship. Zach Stevens is an honor graduate, a member of National Honor Society, and a recipient of the Liv Moss Scholarship. Anna Tackett is an honor graduate, a recipient of the Presidential and Foundation Scholarship, and the Vince Pulsey Scholarship. Tyler Taylor is an honor graduate. Abram Tracy is an honor graduate. Santiago Valdez is a recipient of the Laura Punches Scholarship. Jackson Walter earned an honor diploma, is an honor graduate, a member of National Honor Society, a recipient of the OHSAA Sportsmanship Award, the Claude W. Henkel Scholarship, the Marie Kauser Memorial Scholarship, and the Campbell Soup Scholarship. Isabella Walls is this year's salutatorian. She graduated in the top 5% of her class, earned an honors diploma, is an honor graduate, earned a career all A's, and is a member of the National Honor Society. Drake Wenninger earned an honors diploma, is an honor graduate, a member of the National Honor Society, earned the Good Manners Award, the Sempre Fidelis Award for Musical Excellence from the Marines, the Laura Punches Scholarship, the Presidential Scholarship, and the Changing Lives Scholarship. Draven Willett, sir, earned an honors diploma and is an honor graduate of the Dean Scholarship and the Carolyn Small Scholarship to Defiance College. Caden Zachridge graduated in the top 5% of his class, earned an honors diploma, is an honor graduate, and earned career all A's. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give these ladies and gentlemen a round of applause. Graduates, you may be seated. At this time, it's my great pleasure to introduce this year's valedictorian, Sonny Lloyd.
When I first overheard that I was in the running to become valedictorian, the first words out of my mouth were, that's scary. Now, almost a year and a half after that moment, I can fully assure you that this is indeed incredibly terrifying. <laughs> Nonetheless, it is a tremendous honor to represent the class of 2023 in this manner. And I owe this privilege to my classmates, my teachers, community, and most of all, my wonderful family who supported me through all of those 3 a.m. study nights and those 7 a.m. cross country nights. And more than anything, the 30 minutes this morning that I thought I lost my cabin gown. So thanks, Mom. <laughs> I believe this period of our lives is filled with a great deal of retrospection as we reflect on our memories of the past four years. Each and every one of those moments fill a small piece of who we are today. In respect to this sentiment, this speech is meant to dignify some of those moments that have made us who we are. One memory that made me the person I am today comes from almost 13 years ago. My papa has always kept a shiny red box in his pastor's office that is simply titled, The Secret to Success. As a six-year-old, you can imagine that my curiosity got the best of me one day, and I snuck into his office to take a peek inside the box. While you may have expected a $100 bill, the only thing inside of that box was a simple word, work. This lesson shaped my life forever, and I will always believe in the power of hard work. Each and every one of us here today has had to work hard to reach this moment. You've taken challenging classes, and you have grown thanks to the help and support of teachers and staff. Yet, hard work is merely a glorified virtue until it is truly put to the test. Back in elementary school, I was faced with one of life's most harrowing challenges, subtracting one-digit numbers. However, what I remember more than my struggle is my dad, who sat with me every night until I finally got it. This taught me that your intelligence level means so little if you do not recognize that hard work through those times of adversity is the true driving force to success. I was the last kid in my second grade class to learn how to subtract, but two weeks ago, by the absolute grace of God, I passed AP Calculus with an A. to so many amazing moments. Throughout high school, I have had so many fond memories of times such as these. Whether it was marching in the parade of lights in Chicago, winning the Napoleon game, hitting that final no in long train running, submitting that final project or essay for a particularly difficult class, seeing your battery light up in Chem 2 after days of sanding pennies, acing a test you thought you might have failed, placing at nationals with your DECA project, playing in the dodgeball tournament, or even just having a really awesome day with your classmates. While I love each of these memories, some memories come with a greater challenge. Remember Mr. Stainer's reading quizzes? What about those summer book projects in Mrs. Carr's class? More than anything, the infamous Chem Cal Curse, first coined by T Tony Chen, surely still strikes fear into chemistry and calculus students' hearts. However, these moments were all about finding the joy within the challenge. These moments brought us together as a class, and we survived each of these moments with each other's help. Still, more moments than these are necessary to create a full picture. This idea occurred to me at the Wapakoneta Cross Country Meet. The course was flooded with a downpour of rain, and the conditions were absolutely awful. My race was a disaster. Walking away from the finish line, I decided to take out some of my frustration on an unsuspecting puddle. The huge splash, for some reason, really lifted my spirits. After this strange revelation, I continued excitedly to the bus and asked if anyone would want to go jumping in puddles with me. My muddied and exhausted teammates looked at me like I was crazy until Carla, the beloved exchange student, stood up and said, I do. After this exclamation, the girls and I ran off and we jumped in every puddle in that park. I realized in that moment that life is never about avoiding the puddles, rather about finding the people who will jump in them with you. In fact, one of the most important lessons I ever learned in high school is that sometimes, no matter how hard you work, failure is simply inevitable. 
Sometimes your DECA project doesn't qualify for nationals. Sometimes you miss a note in a performance. Even after Mrs. Boo thrills that section four weeks. Sometimes you have your worst sports performance after your best week of practice. Sometimes you fill out the study guide, you play the review canoe, you reread the textbook, and somehow you still get a C. And sometimes things just do not work out the way you wish they would. However, it is not these dreadful failures that matter. It is the people that love and support you before, during, and long after your worst moments. It is the people that love you regardless and would rather lose with you 100 times before win without you once. These moments are the moments that make us who we are and cement our lifelong friendship in this class. Those people are the ones that make your story worth continuing, even when you are faced with adversity. They are the ones that remind you that the author and finisher of our faith still has a plan for you. Class of 2023, I hope you all always remember that made the moments that made you who you are, and you never forget where you came from. Thank you. Now your 2023 salutatorian, Miss Isabella Walls. Running around her neighborhood with my book bag to keep me from getting it. 
getting called bag for a year and a half because I couldn't pronounce bag correctly, putting on the hits, picnics with friends, powder puff, going to the stop of the stadium to watch the sunset, painting my parking spot, and getting told I'm so damn lucky by Bo and Brady anytime Brogan did something good in football. All of these moments, along with countless others, made me who I am today and prepared me for what's next to come. It's scary to think how different things will be next school year. Not making my usual two minute drive to school, yet somehow arriving in the classroom just before the bell rings every single day. Not knowing 70% of the students around me. Not coming home to my mom making me dinner and the cats in my room. Not having a house no longer than four minutes away from five of my closest friends' houses. No more cabin runs. No more getting Bob Evans on two hour delay days. No more spring break that lines up with my siblings. I spent so much time waiting for high school to be over and now I'm not sure I want it to end. I'm thankful for every moment I got to spend here. I cannot imagine, imagine a better group of kids to have grown up with. It's starting to sink in that in a couple of days I will spend my final day attending Defiance High School and by the time I've given this speech, I'm sure it will have fully hit me. Yes. <laughs> People I've grown to know and care for since as far back as kindergarten will cease to walk the halls with me ever again. People I don't talk to outside of school will no longer play a role in my life. Although I'm scared of what's next to come, as I'm sure many of you are, I'm hopeful and eager for the adventures that lie ahead. Good afternoon, class of 2023. I had prepared a 15 minute speech, reliving the early days at the elementary and leading throughout your time at Defiance High School. But given the fact that you've listened to me for every Sunday for four years, I'm sure you've heard enough. So I will make this the shortest and best Sunday check-in you've ever gotten. I want you to turn around, wave, and say thank you to the ones that helped make today possible. Without them, today would not happen. They love you, we love you, and this community loves you. This will always be your home. Don't ever be a stranger. Once a bulldog, always a bulldog. Now go out there and be the change. Have a great week, and we'll see you soon. God. Congratulations. Welcome to all the families, friends, and teachers, everyone who's here to support you. I saw a keychain recently, and the words inscribed on it made me think of graduation day. Behind you, all your memories. Before you, all your dreams. Around you, all who love you. And within you, all you need. I hope when you walk across the stage here shortly to collect your diploma from Mr. Jurger and Mr. Fisher, I hope you have a lot of what you need. Without a doubt, you will collect much more as you go from here. There could be adversity and disappointment, but also immense joy as you achieve whatever your goals are. I encourage you to always keep collecting and learning along the way and give something back. You're a unique group of young people. You will bring about good changes and enjoy success. We will all be watching to see how that unfolds and you write your stories. Mr. Jurger, representing the Board of Education, it is my pleasure to present these diplomas signifying the hard work this class has put forth to reach this day. I would like to wish all the best to the class of 2023. Stay safe.
In keeping with the solemnity of this ceremony, the class of 2023 has asked that you refrain from cheering and, ho and hold your applause until the end so that everyone's name may be clearly heard. Thank you. Brogan Daniel Aiden. Mason Evan Aguilar. Megan Marie Alvarez, Ariana Anglin, <laughs> Nevaeh Renee Arnold, Thomas E. M. Auer, Priscilla Renee Barrett, Joshua Allen Bowman, Caleb Brashear, Lucian David Breck, Aiden Devin Michael Brenner, Christopher Allen Faustino Brickle, Dominic James Briones, Donovan Pierce Bronson, K.R.A. Christine Brooks Stamps, Elizabeth Marie Brooks, Marv Rolland Burkhart, Piper Morgan Burnett, Carter Warren Campbell, Angelo F. Castillo, Alejandro Chagoyan, America Estrella Chires. Sebastian Chavez, Tony Chen, Christian Victor Camaso, Peyton Elliott Kressel, Veronica Lynn Corwin, Isaac Matthew Davis, Sierra Roxanne Decker, Evan Thomas Detre, Juan Luis Diaz, Wyatt Christopher Ellison, Joshua David Emerling, Dennis Eugene English, Cody Michael Entenman, Talia Escamilla, Jonathan Caleb Esparza. Cody Ray Fairchild. Alondra Stefania Fernandez. Lydia Evan Fernandez. Blaze Robert Garrison Fitch. Ellie Ray Fleshman. Leanne Marie Ford. Tyler Matthew Frederick. Elizabeth Cheyenne Grace Frickson. Yuli Samira Gallegos. Maya Rosetta Garcia. Rochelle K. Garcia. Josiah Joseph Gehring. Isaiah M. Gearhart, Brandon Edward Gamutza, Gavino Atilano Gomez, Santonio Leo Gonzalez, Colton Simon Greer, Alex J. Hahn, Cameron Brian Hall, Chase Joseph Hall, Zachary Andrew Hansen, Logan James Hartman, Caden Charles Hazelton, Amelia Roche Hernandez, Bo Warren Hesselswart, Paige. Ashlyn Hill, 
Brady Allen Hassel. Yeah! Nikita Adam Hassel. Elizabeth Ann Hoffman. Carson Robert Hoffman. Dominic Rex Hohenberger. Sydney Rose Holmes. Mira Noel Horvath. Eden Lee Hutchinson. Justin Douglas Eilith. Ethan James Ingle. Xavier Scott Irvin. James Logan Jackman. Ethan Michael Jackson. Nadia Nicole Marie Jalad. David Taylor Jimenez. Elizabeth Leanne Johnston. Kirsten Grace Johnston. Woo! Noah Charles Jordan. Victor David Jersevich. Aiden Robert Darrell Kiesling. Ella Rose Kistner. Ramon Anthony Kulwicki. Lily Mae Lacey. Draven Edward Lewis Lance. Cameron Elise Lawsey. Elena Lynn Levine. Jacob James Lips. Sonny Mariah Lloyd. Mackenzie Lynn Malcolm. Marissa Isabella Martinez. Kinley Grace Maynard. Gavin William Miller. Anna Marie Monte. Hannah Catherine Moore Friedoff. Madeline Michelle Morton. Michael James Mullins. Rayleigh Jean Muncy. Benjamin Elliot Nofsiger. Tamari Angelita Ashley Neely. Sander Malon Neff. Craig Lamar Nichols. Seth Aaron Nyheiser, Adrian Thomas Oler, Hector Ornelius Magana, Brian Stephen Phillips, Logan Andrew Piasecki, Bregan Sierra Pierce, Kyle Alexander Pitsley. Emma Elizabeth Pry, <laughs> Caleb Davis Reigns, <laughs> Pedro A. Ramirez Jr., Tennessee Nicole Ramon. Aiden Shane Reese. Reagan Michelle Rigg. Zachary Eugene Ritchie. Olivia Nicole Rittenhouse. Reese Addison Rittenhouse. Ella. Madison Ann Rohde, Jalen Ray Rollins, Ashton Charles Rose, Lizzie Marie Roth, Javin Santos Saldana, Jordan Russell Samples, 
Bailey Marie Savage. Cambriana M. Shepard. Isaac Walter Schlotter. Maxwell Daniel Schmunk. Kaylin Sumery Schramm. Leah Michelle Scott. Stacy Liliana Cibifuentes. Jayla Celine Cepeda. Kaylee Renee Shank. Braden Christian Shaw. Jared R. Sheets. Tayshawn Laquan Shelton. Ava Carmen Schock. McKaylin Olivia Schock. McKenna Bryn Schock. Trey Michael Styler. Kaylin May Cisco. Emmy Reese Sizemore. Kerrig Orion Skyver. Audrey Carol Smitty. Amos Kane Alexander Smith. Kylie Ryan Snyder. Travis Allen Wade Spears. Melanie Ann Sprout. Dakota A. Staten. Evan Jacob Steese. Zach Tyler Stevens. Anna Elizabeth Tackett. Tyler Nathaniel Taylor. Spencer Boyd Thompson. Savannah Joe Tiarina. Fernando Torres Jr. Abram Lee Tracy. Madeline J. Trevino. Desiree Urbina. Selena Urbina. Santiago Luciano Valdez. Abigail Elizabeth Ann Vance. Alexander James Ray Vance. Ezekiel Deacon Velasquez. Brianna Elaine Wagner. Jackson Christopher Walter. Isabella Ann Walls. Gabriella Danielle Ward. Diavion G. Washington. Drake Rudolph Wenninger. Camden Ryan Westfall. Daniel Tomas Wheeler. Draven Storm Willitzer. Angelito Miguel Reed. Caden Drew Zachrich. Maddie Zapata. Kaylee Alyssa Zilka. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduating class of 2023. At this time, I would like to call to the podium, Madeline Morton. Good afternoon, class.
classmates, families, faculty, and distinguished guests. It's been an honor to serve as your student council president this past year. I wish you success, health, and happiness in the years to come. Classmates, it is a symbolic gesture for students to move their tassel from right to left, signifying the culmination of your school career. Would you please stand and join me in moving your task? Congratulations to the class of 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2023.